Hey guys, in one of my previous videos, I discussed about ESP32 cam board, and it was quite decent camera board. But I bought one more of ESP32 camera board, and this one is TTGO ESP32 camera board. So today we gonna find out how this one is better from our traditional ESP32 cam board. So without wasting any further time, let's get into it. So here we have our famous traditional ESP32 cam board and on the other hand we have our TTGO ESP32 camera board. So how these two boards are different from each other? So in our traditional ESP32 cam board I did not like one thing and that is lack of USB to TTL converter and on the other hand we have a USB to TTL converter on TTGO board. And the other advantage this board has is having a OLED display which will be used to print some information such as IP of camera. So you don't need to connect it to PC every time to get the IP. And the TTGO board has 8 MB of PS RAM as well as on the other hand traditional ESP32 cam board has only 4 MB of PS RAM. So to summarize this. TTGO board got a PIR sensor, a OLED display, a USB to TTL for programming, power connector, an empty pad to solder the environment sensor to get the temperature, humidity etc. On the other hand, our traditional ESP32 CAM board has advantage of SD card slot, extra GPIOs to use and a better online support. So that is a quick comparison between the both boards. Both are better in their own manner. For now let's see how this cam board works. And if you want to know more about ESP32 cam board, check my previous videos on ESP32 cam board. So let's get this thing running. So the good thing about this board is by default it has some code running in it. So we will power it up and we are gonna see what this board has to offer for us. So you can see it started and we can see the IP of the board in the OLED display. So you don't need a Wi-Fi router as well. You just go to your PC or Android and connect this your TTGO access point from your device. Then go to browser and type the IP we got in the display. And your home page will get loaded in few seconds. Then you can click on start stream button to start the stream. And if you want to switch the verticals of camera just to use the right switch on the board and the left switch on the board is to reset the board. So one thing I must admit, this board is very easy to use and the steaming is not lacking. So you can also buy this device from the link provided in the description. And if you are buying from these links which means you are helping this channel as well. And there are a few more variants of this TTGO USB32 camera board. I will leave the link in description. If you are interested then check them out and if you want to know how to program this board so make sure you subscribe to my channel and we will be programming this board in upcoming videos. So if this video helped you hit like give me a share and check my paypal given in description and support me in paypal so that I can make more frequent videos. So have fun with the SP32 camera board. And I'll come back with some another interesting video of mine. Till then, keep exploring.